Hello, McWarriors! How's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Rock Tag. Are you ready for some mech action? I am, certainly. For that, we have to wait a bit of time, though, because our people are in fatigue, and uh, as soon as we are done with that, we can dive into the battles again. I'm super excited for today, because I am actually here to hunt some more heavies and maybe even assault mechs. So I think it's a good idea to just go for, let's say, three, three and a half skull missions. I think that's our sweet spot right now. And... Let's, uh, yeah, let's go directly, directly into it as soon as our people are back out of the fatigue here. Alrighty, ready to go. I don't have an Argo scheduled right now, an Argo upgrade scheduled right now. I should probably take care of that. But anyway, here we are, look at this. Oh my god, we can take five skulls. Ah, uh, it's maybe a little bit too much. What about we play a nice, good old three and a half skull battle or assassination? Assassination is probably doable. Another battle. I'm looking for stuff that gives us very good salvage, but you know what? We're gonna be starting with a nice 5 out of 23 assassination in a 3.5 skull environment. Our lance value is a 3 skull. Okay, that's uh, interesting. So, <laughs> we need we need more mechs. We need better mechs. How do you get them? By punching above your weight class and try to get salvage from those guys. Alrighty, guys. I am ready. I mean, we have very good um, accuracy on the Orion, we have very good accuracy on our Atlas, we have our Valkyrie, which is actually fast now and can punch people, that's pretty good. I'm also still looking for a lower arm actuator, so we can use... Um, I wanted to use a thing. I needed to upgrade my, my carrying weight for a certain specialist slot. But at the same time, we have the industrial TSM now, ah, which we couldn't use because of, of course, it was a quirk. Yeah, right. So, there, there, are still, there are still some stuff to do on this thing. Well, let's see what we can do with it. I mean, ultimately, we can just go for an Atlas build. Easily. Easily doable. Um, but for that, I'd say, yeah. I like my Atlas as a shooty Atlas now, but at some point... We might want to transition the Valkyrie build onto the Atlas as soon as we have found another Assault Mech that we can then slap our mechanical jump jets on. I think that's how we're gonna do it. Currently they are just sleeping there in the bay doing nothing and uh, waiting for their time to shine. But I, I need a certain mech for that, otherwise I cannot <laughs> get anything done here. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. We're gonna destroy the target and escape, and I'm just hoping that he doesn't have so many support lances. I just wanna get a quick mission with high, high value, that's it. But not with too many enemies, so that I'm not getting shot to pieces. Command interface initiated. Oh, uh, that's an interesting drop. I don't like it too much. Well, hell. Yeah, we cannot drop on the land. Ooh, boy. I don't wanna drop here, really. I mean, ultimately we wanna go to the left side, right? Gotta make sure that I'm not accidentally landing on one of these um, rocks here. But I think this should be fine. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. So, I hope that there is no dead drop produced. And I hope that they have no okay, supports. Now. Currently, we know that they have enemy forces and reinforcements. That's a Perseus. Alright. Well, and a, a Brutus. Alright. Interesting. It's and then we also see... Time to an get Iron you. Raptor. An Ifrit! Oh my god! No! We gotta take them out quickly. There's an archer. There is a chaparral. <laughs> we could upgrade our tanks big time. And there's also a freaking Nidhogg. Yo guys, we are in trouble. But we have spawn protection right now. So let's keep that for the moment. Alrighty. What's the green circle again? Was that AMS? I think it was AMS. Uh, I'm pretty sure about that. So our violet circle is, I think... EWS, and then the blue circle is ECM. I don't know. What's the green circle? Is it a probe? We will see about that. We're gonna take the Ifrit and the Nidhogg down right now, because that's a lot of Inferno bombs and missiles, and it will just screw you over. Ooh, and that's a lot of PPCs. Oh no. We might have punched too high here. <laughs> but I want to play it to the end. The big problem is also the chopper rod. That thing brings an arrow to the table, and that will just fly and get, get us a big explosion in our area. Like yeah. Kobolds. Kobolds are just nasty. So nothing special about them. It's just really annoying with all of the splash damage, and they are really hard to hit. I'm showing minor damage. I gotta wait. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here's a mad cat? What? That's a Mad Cat Mark II! Really? 
Holy macaroni! And here comes the Nidhogg. Oh my god. <laughs> there are way too many priority targets. 100%. Oh, crap. So, what's that? It's a Madcat Mark II, huh? It is. Oh boy. Well, that's, uh... Is that my target? Yeah, that's my main target. Wow. Alright, I have a plan. I hope it works. Oh, the Brutus is also gonna be very, very bad for us. Mm, my plan is to take out the gunships, and then go for the Chaparral, and then go for the Brutus, and then go for the Madcat, or something like that. Something along those lines. So, here comes the arrow. Mmm, it's gonna hurt. So it was a damage arrow, which I was happy about, because if it was an Inferno arrow, we could have just packed our things, because we were not able to shoot back. We need the heat management to actually go for Alpha Strikes, and we gotta go for it now. Alright, so it's our turn now. whoop de doo It's fun! Ah, help, please! Alright, 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 alright. So, we will sprint. God, we need to split up a bit. Double time! Let's go! The things that we can hit with our Hunchback are basically none. I can drop, yeah, I can drop some damage on the Chaparral here. So Tag Barrage is important there. Got it. Eh, not the best hit. I mean, we have uh, this is a bit of a, an area denial here. That's all right. Waiting for orders. What about Decker? I don't know what we're gonna be doing with Decker yet. Here's our Hunter. Yet again, the important thing is that we will spread out a bit. And I think, now that I started it, I think I'm gonna keep going for that guy. I mean, these guys have AMSs like crazy. Yeah, AMS Mark II. Uh, flares. This is hard to hit with missiles, so we're gonna go for the chopper rod. That's good. Mm, I... Oh man, do I wanna go with Decker now? Might wanna do that. We have a lot of sprint potential here. Come on, Deck. Gotta be okay <laughs> all the way in the front. Don't worry, everything is fine. What's that urban mech? It's an arrow urban mech! Oh, crap. He's panicked. Orders. Oh, man, at that point I was hoping that we got some, some stuff done already. Well, I guess we do not. Okay, here we go. With the streaks. Do we drop the mines here? I don't think so. No. One down. That's one arrow less on the board. But we have not dealt with any of those helicopters yet. Well, okay. As I was saying, the Brutus also has to go. I want to see if I can do something about that. That thing has so many missiles. But it also has a lot of armor, so it's a thousand armor roundabout, so I don't know. I await your command. So, small missiles. There's one thing that we can do with our short-range missiles, and that is trying to overheat people. And I need a target on the front line to do so. Ah, alright, Iron Raptor. You seemed... You actually seemed dangerous. Let me go over here. Let me go Warlord, because I need to get a hit chance here, and then we're gonna shoot Infernos! And machine guns. Maybe we get a headshot with them. I don't know. Let's do it. Firing all weapons. That's a very cool rack on the side there. I like it. And the heat is... Uh, oh, Alright, there, there is heat. There is heat. Uh, what's so, now it's getting interesting because I can bring my Orion to the front line. And we have a decent chance on both of the flyers. What if we stand and shoot? I think we stand and shoot. Yeah, this is Warlord. Warlord stand and shoot and then... I think the Ifrit has to go. These bombs are really bad. Like, really bad. I'm gonna go offensive push against the... Wait, wait, wait. This guy. And uh, try to hit his front twice. His side is harder to hit. Also, our precision strike is not really helping us. We only have a 55% uh, chance, that is. So we're gonna shoot regularly so that we have a higher basic chance. And then there's that AMS. <laughs> Alright, here comes the Arrow Irby. Oh, no. No Infernos. <gasps> Mines! Are you crazy, man? Oh, shit. That's so bad. Standing by. Oh, we will lose a lot of health. 19 mines. Dudes, but we also have to get closer. I gotta run through them. Panicked? Who's panicked? What? 
Who's panicked here? I don't know. Somebody's panicked. So, we need to hit the Gauss, hopefully. Ah, we can sensor lock here. Mm, maybe should have done it first. We cannot sensor lock because we are in the first round, so never mind. Just checking my targets. I can hit the Brutus at a better rate, but... You know what? I can unload on the Raptor. That's a lot of light PPCs. It's the best thing that I have right now. Sure. Fire. Firing a full salvo. And finally enough, we have the headshot that I wanted earlier. So that's very helpful. He's also unsteady. Waiting for orders. Uh, Hunchback. Hunchback can actually run around the whole situation. More or less. Roger. Okay, we're gonna shoot this guy again because that's the only target yet again. We might want to go with Inferno C and I think I want to go with Warlord. Alright, here we go. Targeting for Alpha Strike. So we got some more heat on him. He's also still unsteady. And then, oh my god, yeah, the Valkyrie. Come on. Supercharger on. I honestly don't care about the flames and the fast cam here. I want to end up in the water, honestly, but okay, I don't get it. Well, we're gonna go over Double here. Time. Here we are. How much damage? Yeah, a little bit. Alright, it's a thing that we have to deal with. And the problem is that we are not able to get our heat on. Got it. So we got heat on the enemies. And we have uh, printing huh? the initiative. So let's go ahead. Why is our PPC not hitting that hard? Height difference? Max range? Really? Dude, we just, just had a perfect hit chance, didn't we? Well, I, I guess um, I'm gonna try this again. Here we go. Lighting them up. Good hit. Missiles are getting eaten up. Sure. Fair enough. Receiving you. We don't have a chance. There's there's nothing. Let's go. Let's move. Through the mines. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this Raptor again, and we're gonna drop some more Infernos. In all hey, that's something. One SRM4 down. Critical hit, Commander. All right. Oh, they have, yeah, they have a warrior as well on the right side, but that warrior is less interesting. What's important is the Nidhogg and the Ifrit in front of us. And I think it's gonna be their turn now. Yeah, turn 20, 21. This is where the Ifrit strikes, and this is where the Nidhogg strikes. All right, Ifrit, do your worst. I'm here to... I'm here to fight, and I'm here to actually gather you. Or... The Nidhogg. Because we have some parts already. Maybe he's not shooting all of his things. I don't know. That could be. Could easily be. This is so much, man. <laughs> this is so, so much. <laughs> this Strikecraft is, by the way, designed to drop the damage like kind of once and then fall back to just uh, some SRMs. But it's well protected because it has decent armor and it has those AMSs and the flares. And he's going for Decker. All right, the dogfight is on. Perfect. That's what we needed. Yes, Commander. Cool. So let's bring our Atlas. Bring him to the front. Try to hit that guy and shoot him down. Or do we go for this flyer? This has no impact. No, we gotta make impactful moves here. So we're gonna drop. Ah, fine. I'm gonna drop some acid on, on the front. Why not? I know it makes more sense. It was just too lazy. Thought we could kill anyway, but I think we have to actually bring the A-game here. So, acid first, so we can tag our enemies with some damage. And... Uh, with some acid, and then follow up with the damage that is amplified by the acid. Um, that's not enough, but we have a knockdown. Also, I wanted to save some acid. I only shot 20 here, so that we have some for later. That's okay. Alright, he's basically dead. What's coming now? It's an archer. Oh, they don't like my hunter. <laughs> That's fair enough. He's also panicked now. Mm-hmm. Well, good to go. Here's the thing. The what's it called? Ifrit Strike Craft is open. No, not quite open, but damaged on the right side. And we can actually follow up on that. So again, no this is gonna be a dogfight. Decker in the helicopter trying to kind of to, to hunt the bomber and pew, 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 shooting with the lasers all the time. I like it. I like that uh, that image in my head right now. Let's see how you handle this. Good hits there, buddy. He's panicked. Uh, wasn't the kill though. So he still has a chance to unload his stuff. Turn 20. It's now the time for the Ifrit to strike. No, the Nitok. Sorry, the Nitok to strike. What's he gonna do? He also has a lot of Inferno bombs. And he can really overheat things in one go, if he wants to. 
But the question is, does he want to? Sometimes the AI is like, yeah, you know what? We have that nice cluster of mechs down here. Screw it. I'm going to shoot that single tank that's all the way in the back and only with the medium laser. I'm kind of hoping for something like that right now. <laughs> Come on, mister. You're not smart. You, you don't find the, the knobs and, and buttons to press, huh? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, it's exactly what happened. <laughs> He's going for that single My tank. <laughs> and yeah, we have a panical... A panical? A critical panicked... Critically panicked... What was it? Hunter. It was Skyros. He has to actually recover. He's gonna go all the way to the back, if he can do that. God, all oh, these mines. And then we also have that urban mech on the board, which is horrible for us. Here's the Perseus with the Gauss. Not hitting, not connecting. That's good. Right, who's next? Standing by. We have Big Sly. I actually want to bring Big Sly over here, but if we go into the circle, we have a pretty bad hit chance because of his ECM. Ooh, I mean, our missiles have no impact there. No, it's not a good idea. Can we overheat the urban mech? Can we make it so that we can threaten him? Oh, <gasps> no, wait. We can only contest him if we go here. Maybe he's going for my tank then, you know? That's what I'm hoping for. Not shooting his big arrow. It's a decoy, but it might work. Got a sprint, sadly. There's really no position where I can get that guy, except for this one here. All right, let's try. On my way. Here comes the Trillson. Hello, I'm also shooting Infernos. Let's make him hot. Roger that. Oh, we got a bit of heat. I hope that's enough. He's also headshot. <laughs> cool. So, here is... Wait, what is that? It's a hunchback? Does he want to run through all the mines? I think we want to. Yeah. We gotta push that. We gotta push this here, specifically. And while we are at it, we will go for an SRM barrage and an AC-10 on the Iron Raptor. That should actually seal the deal and kill him. One down. The second one down, by the way. Turn 17. I'm actually afraid of this guy here. The two LRM-20 long fire are really scary. And then there was something about a mad cat that's also there. <laughs> Ow! Oh man, the double gals. Commander. The double gals is actually quite scary. Could you not do that, please? Alrighty, so what's the next target? I need to think. I need, I need to know where to go. I think it's the it's the Brutus, sure. And honestly, we will drop some mines over there because there they they can just stay there. They can live there in this area and deal some damage on the Brutus when he moves. I hope he moves a lot. Like in and out and in and out and all around the mines. Didn't move at all. I mean, that's also good because that provides me a hit chance. Yeah, he was steady. How's it going? Oh boy. Um, yeah, Hacker. Hacker go Affirmative. over here. Hacker go shoot the Brutus. Engage. It's the only target we have with him. Commander? Now T-Bone on the Valkyrie. Absolutely. He will he will sprint. And Move see if we can that. shoot our plasma and the X pulse into the sky. So that's a bit of a hit chance. I can also try to go for the archer, and honestly, I feel it's better. Because we can shoot, we can actually heat us up a bit more. Affirmative. We need that. So the hit chance is not that interesting. Ooh. What's interesting is that we get TSM on, and we have it on now. Perfect. Urban Mac did not shoot his arrow, so that's good news. All right, barrage coming down. That's okay. I want to bring my melee mech to this mad cat up there. It's, I think, the only way to get this done. Commander. Uh, now we have a problem. This 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 Ifrit strike strike craft here. I really want it down, but standing and shooting while we have a mad cat standing right here with double gauss is not an option. Receiving you. We have to move, which is uh, which is so bad, guys. That's so bad. I guess we're gonna shoot the other guy then. Or Mr. Irby? Can't shoot Irby in the butt. 
Man, I have to. It's so sad that we have to, but I need to stay in motion with the red kite. Maybe some of the Gauss carriers can do it. Um, sure, let's go. I want to see red numbers. Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. It's not a red number, but it's a red anyway. And we have the drills in here, which can then go in his bag and maybe splash some missiles into his bag, trying for a uh, critical ammo explosion or something. We have dead fire on this guy. It's not that many missiles. We only have eight SRM-2s, but it's 16 missiles anyway. Also, it's only six, so it's 12 missiles total. And then the machine guns, so they can also provide some criticals. It is time to bring that arrow down, because I'm super afraid of it. These guys here, this urban mech, and the uh, Perseus, actually. Ow. Minimal damage on that hit. Good to go. All right, T-Bone. Do I care about this? If I get in this blue circle, I'm gonna get scrambled. Also, Supercharger is about to blow. <laughs> anyway, I think this is the best thing that we can do right now. Yeah, let's do it. Hi! How are you? I'm here. I wanna shoot you. So, bad hit chance and a chance to destroy or just dealing massive damage? I think I'm gonna go with the massive damage here. Quote unquote massive damage. <laughs> All right, TSM is still on, and we have the Valkyrie on the front line. Man, I hope you, you just survive that. Good luck there. He is kind of in the in a, in a in an open spot behind enemy lines now. Right, that's a max shot cannon. A max shot cannon doesn't have that big of an impact uh, alone. So I'm going to sprint over here and start way. dealing Double damage time. to our friend the Archer, and I want to kind of try to still overheat him. Turn 21, now the flyers. Two of them. We have the Ifrit and we have the Nitok. Both of them might just go nuts on Mr. Valkyrie down here. <laughs> I hope this is not the case, though. We'll see. I mean, he can take it. He has good heat management and he doesn't need to shoot all of his weapons. He's actually the punchy guy. But if they get enough heat on him to overheat him in an instant, he's standing there with his pants down in front of a double Gauss, ER medium, MRM, Mad Cat Mark II assault mag. That's gonna be the worst. But it is all about what they do. They are going for my head size, per usual. Good, they're taking the tanks as their target. I like it. And he also didn't move that much. Keep that in mind. It's great. So, the other thing. The Ifrit now. Man, they look so cool. I want one of those. Give it to me. Please. I think I, I don't even care about the Mad Cat. <laughs> I really want that other thing. Although a jumping Mad Cat would be the pinnacle of uh, combat warfare right now. Honestly, the Mad Cat also being a battle mech, we can make a lot of stuff happen with that thing. It has a lot of good uh, hard points as well. Oh, this looks bad. It is still okay, and he's coming a bit closer, which means we can hit him better. Well, let's say we can hit him with more weapon systems at the same time. Archer? Yeah, that's another tank down. It's fair enough. Ooh, not much armor left in that location. If we get some good salvage from here, I don't care about losing that Hetzer. Absolutely. I want either a Chaparral, one of these uh, attack helicopters, or the Mad Cat. That would be a huge upgrade. Alright, Drillson is also still alive. Perfect. Now it is my turn. On the drills. No, it's not my turn yet. Wait. Oh, the Perseus. Having a Gauss rifle in the flank is not good. I'm always, always waiting for a shot that actually connects. Alright, we can get four evasion. I think this is important. Confirmed. Let's get out of here. And shoot Irby in the butt. Not with Inferno, but with dead fire. Machine guns are rattling as well. Fire away. Come on. Oh, uh, no, that is not enough. Reporting critical hit. We have his laser weapon destroyed, but there's still the arrow. Oh, what's up, boss? <laughs> That's not good, man. <laughs> Alrighty, into the water we go. We gotta cross this, no matter what. Right, can we shoot this? Not really. Can we shoot this? Eh, kind of. But more importantly, we can shoot the archer, which is... Is it the best target that we have? Question mark. Funnily enough, I believe it is. Uh, what about the Brutus? 
I mean, we have a good hit chance there, but we have not enough weapons to fire. I'd say we'll shoot our friend, the archer. Uh, we do not have Infernos on this guy, sadly. On. I need to find somebody else to shoot the helicopters down. Just shooting into the sky uh, with no hit huh? chance does not help. That's good, though. Heading that way. And that will probably kill him. Come on, buddy. Lighting them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's almost down. He's also panicked. Which means that if the Atlas is... Uh, oh, no. It's going, then we might get something done. Oh. Bam! Tank after tank is getting destroyed by the Gauss hits. Oh, that guy's overheated. All right. Can we shut him down? That's the question here. Bad hit chance is bad. Why is it bad? Explain yourself. Don't be bad. I don't want you to be bad. I want you to kill this thing now. Oh, that's bad. Well then, um, <laughs> what can we do? Can we stand and shoot? Does it help? We can sensor lock this guy. Maybe. Let's check it out. Boom. Sensors locked on. That's negative one evasion. That's a that's a decent hit chance. We can actually shoot NRMs here. Um, let's let's try. Copy that. Let's see how many are actually getting through. We have them down. So Ifrit on the ground. Eliminated. Now we have to deal with God, everybody else actually. Okay, that's fine. Yes, Irby. No, here comes the arrow. Wait, actually, that wasn't that bad. I mean, it made us unsteady, <laughs> but still. Okay, Standing by. Decker. Yeah, we have the same problem again. Decker wants to be mobile and shoot him in the butt. Can I actually leave this? Can I go out of bounds? I should probably not go out of bounds. I can just go all the way back for three evasion and a back shot against Mr. Urban Mag. That's a cool thing. I've, I just hope that we have enough distance from the Mad Cat. Herbie down! That's what we needed here. Got three of them already dead? I mean, not dead, but incapacitated. Oh, man. So, here's the thing. A thang. Super risky. But I want to bring more Infernos on Mr. Mad Cat. Oh no, I can't hit that guy. With a good hit chance as well. We would show our backs to the archer. I could also surround the archer and I should do it. Roger Hunchback deals with the archer, there's no question about it. This is actually... Um, blah, 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 LK with Warlord and... Can we go for an offensive push here? Does it make sense? Can we just combine our damage to a single spot? I think, uh, man, we would give up a lot of hit, uh, hit chance on the lasers. No, I don't want it. Time to unload. Archer down. Super important kill. One left target. Okay, what's next? Turn 22, it is... Oh, that's interesting. That is actually also pretty good. We have a higher initiative on Mr. Valkyrie than on the Nitok, which means we can go for the Mad Cat and punch him. And then regain our stability because we can go vigilant beforehand and so on. That's good. But who is... Ah, it's a kobold. No, wait. Who's still there? The Brutus? It's not. It is the warrior with an AC5. Yeah, I got it. Alright. I'll accept your damage. <laughs> That's fine. There goes the paint job. As long as we are coming out of this with a, with a big, big prize, I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go Vigilant. Mm, Supercharger has a fail chance, but I believe in us. I think we have enough mobility to get there nonetheless. Physical weapon, backstrike. We are not shooting the medium expulses, but I want everything that produces heat here. Actually, we can go with that. Alright, into the back with a physical weapon. Did I forget anything? I forgot Berserker. Alright. Very important. Let's try. Oh, please take him out. Our primary target is taking damage. Clean punch, buddy. Well done. Gotcha. So that's the mad cat off the board. Honestly, I am okay with that if we only get one salvage out of this thing. It's perfectly fine. I wanted those gausses off the board. That was so important here. Ooh, we got it. All right. Nice. Next up is the kobold. Again, it's just nasty. He doesn't have much. 
It's just hard to hit, hard to kill. Uh huh. And we have Basilisk. So what about Basilisk shooting that? We can even get two movement and two evasion out of that. Sure. Heading that way. We need to kill this thing. And I think I want to go Warlord. And I want to see if I can go for his weak spot now. That is here. That definitely makes sense. That was the wrong side. <laughs> but we got some damage in. I'm ready for I am just happy that everything hit. Fire. Firing. Alright. Turn 18? No, turn 19. Do we, do we even have more? I think I have my Atlas still, but that's it. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, we also got to deal with the Gauss Rifle at some point. But first we're gonna clean up here. And then we're gonna deal with the Gauss Rifle. I think my tanks in the background here, my, my Decker and, and uh, Big Sly, those two are a perfect attack squad. They just scoot around and try to get into backstab positions and they don't need much damage. They just need enough to open our enemies from behind and then get a critical damage out. So they are actually a nice pair of uh, speed and mayhem and, and recklessness. So cool. Yeah, we have a lot of people here on the left side, and the left side is already crumbling. We gotta put them over to the other side. Oh no. Alright, it's just heat and a bit of damage. Uh, my heat getting pretty high. Yeah, you're fine, buddy. Nothing happened there. Waiting for orders. So slow and steady wins the race. We are not sprinting so that we can maintain our mobility, um, maintain our heat chance, actually. Uh do I go for that guy? No, I don't. I could go for that guy. He's also very nasty. And he still has an active turn. We can prevent him from shooting. If we're getting lucky. Uh, let's put the Gauss all the way to the front. And the medium expulse. So that the missiles can come in later and get the criticals. That didn't quite work. Hmm. But I think if he's moving through the mines once more... Oh, he's moving out of the mines. <laughs> I wanted to say we could get some more damage on him and maybe he's exploding, but he is not. There goes the paint job. Alrighty, good to know. I'm receiving you. No, oh, Mr. Sly. Uh, how about... Got it, Commander. A nice sprint over here. He has nothing he can shoot anyway, except for the... What was it? Hobo down there? I don't know what the word was. Um, uh, we can shoot that fire. That fire are harder to intercept, actually. Makes a lot of sense here. Okay, let's see what your AMS can do. Confirmed. Obviously not much. I like it. Oh, he's so damaged. Yes, Commander. Mr. Decker, can you come and help, please? We need you. You're our only hope. Help us, De Decovan Kenobi. Uh, fire. All right, he's panicked. Good to go. Where is his weak spot right now? His right side. Uh, yeah, this is a problem. We are not really able to move that much because we are so hot. And we would still overheat. Yeah, even if we don't shoot anything. So, the Valkyrie has nothing to do this round. I'm gonna leave him there, reserve him, because we can maintain our guarded and um, our evasive state. So, by. that's that. Oh, yeah, come on. Confirmed. Let's do it. Um, this is LK and everything else. He's not dead! Oh no! His panic level is critical though. And it is his turn now. Or is it? I don't know. I certainly got hit in the leg by this Perseus now. Ah, man. Uh, what's that? This guy. Heading that way. Get him down! We got him. So, Nidhogg destroyed. Vehicle down! That's a hard mission, guys, but I, I was coming for it. I mean, I was uh, saying that I wanted to punch a bit a bit higher than our our own, um, what's it called, uh, performance. Our own lands value. That was way too high, I gotta say. Question, do we want to fight to the end or do we want to E back? I don't know, to get a hold on these guys on the right side. I mean, this Brutus is almost dead. The only problem that we have is that he turned around and we cannot go for his weak spot anymore. So, except for the front, sure. And they have a good chance to hit. There goes the paint job. Commander. It's time to bring the Atlas. 
Let's do it. Let's move for only one evasion. That's all we get. Oh, man. And get that Brutus down at the very least. Fire. Affirmative. It is not destroyed. I can't believe it. But we need very little. Very little is needed to get that done. I want to go for the back shot. But it's the only angle we got. Well then. Oh, and we can only shoot a large laser? Oh no. Maybe it hits the side anyway. Here we go. Firing at enemy six. It hit the side, but the wrong side. Crazy. Uh, T-Bone is going to reserve completely. Standing by. It is now turn of the Cobalt. Down here. Yeah. Sure. I think our Hunchback can actually brawl with the Cobalt. And everybody else can go over there to kill the um, the Perseus. And, and everything else. Here comes the Hunchy. Roger. Let's also go Vigilance. And kill that thing. I'm going to leave the Tag Barrage open for later. We don't need it to secure the kill here. Absolutely not. But we can bring the tag barrage down on the Perseus later. Good to go. Okay. T bone. Move. Moving to position. Don't shut down. Alright, everything's fine. Ooh, here we go. Ready for order. So, Mr. Mr. Decker. Mr. Decker definitely wants to go down here. Hello. Understood. Moving fast. Maybe we can hit the warrior? Because those guys are rather squishy. You can see 25 armor on the side. Yeah, the hit chance is overall pretty garbage. Giving him everything I've got. Hey, we got a hit though. That's nice. Commander. 46% chance on a charge attack. 39% chance on a charge attack. It's not worth it. No, oh, I'll just move and we're gonna shoot. And we're gonna leave one laser, two lasers out of that. Sure. And try to hit with everything else. Which we do. Very nice. Alright, turn 22. It is the Perseus again. Holy crap. That guy is too fast for him, though. He's just going in a dive and trying to uh, just dodge all the projectiles that are fired at him. And he dodges everything. Yeah, Commander. Alright, so... As I was saying... I want to see if I can get the barrage in. <laughs> he actually got out of my range? Smart. Very smart. I think we tagged him, though. Yeah, it looks very much the center of the green circle. He is tagged. That means we have to deal with basically two enemies now. This guy, the warrior, is is basically down. We're gonna shoot him once and, and, and look at him with a barrage of missiles coming, maybe from the Orion or so. And then he is dead. But that thing, the Perseus. It's an AC-10 and a Gauss rifle, I believe. Not bad. The Perseus, by the way, is, I think, the Omni variant of a of an Orion. That's what it looks like. Cool color scheme. I like it. I like this off-blue, like, metal-ish turquoise. It's very, very faint color. Not that vibrant. Not that saturated. Kind of, I think it fits Max more. Uh, Max and, you know, tanks and vehicles more than those bright colors. Come on, give me my turn. There we go. Uh, what's that? Yeah, that's what I was waiting for, man. Heading that way. I'm gonna shoot the Orion, all the Perseus there. All in. Just all in. We got a headshot, by the way. Super waiting cool. That brings me to... The Drillson. Man, we lost three tanks here. I really hope that we can recover them. I'm gonna go with the higher hit chance. Target acquired. And we got him down. Yes, the warrior. Perfect. Guys, two more enemies, and then we're gonna lick some wounds. The good news is, we still have our Atlas, and I think we're gonna also... Yeah, we will sprint. We will Vigilance. We will not sense a lot, because we can't, and we will just do that. The Vigilance is for a higher initiative next round. I wanna be able to Alpha Strike this guy and just knock him down, or actually knock him out completely. It is now the turn of the Cobalt. The Cobalt has two MMLs and a machine gun heavy. All right. I mean, seriously. He is annoying. He's a big nuisance. But that's it. Waiting for orders. T-Bone, what can you provide here? Sprinting. Is there anything you can provide? You have your plasma cannon. 
Sure, shoot it. Tell me what to shoot. Every shot counts, and every shot not taken is a missed shot. Systems recycling for another shot. Okie dokie. Commander? I think it is time to actually activate the supercharger again. Because that gets us a little bit further. And, um... Yeah, I want to get there. We will run through two mines. It's okay, one of them exploded. Drop the medium pulses, drop everything. Okay, he's down to turn 14. I really want to see if I can get some more headshots on this guy. I mean, backstrikes are not really helping, since we are attacking mostly from the front. And I think... We're gonna do it like... Actually, like this. Getting the perfect hit chance. And that'll most likely tip him over to his uh, unsteady threshold. Affirmative. Or maybe not, because we don't have any stability damage oh, yeah. coming from that. Backshot? I don't like the flames here. Side shot. That's what we do. In Again, still brawling with that single tank. Uh, that's too hot. Let's go with, actually, higher hit chance. Yeah, we can do that. We can also go Warlord on that. Come on, please kill him. It's a crew compartment pr uh, crit, sure. Reporting critical hit. Oh wait, no, we ah, we need more now. We need more hits on a crew compartment to get him down. Yeah, yeah, they changed that. Got a sprint. Understood. Gotta get all the weapons online. We can go for Hydras here. Interesting. Is that a good idea? I don't think so. It might be though. Hmm. I think my sensor lock is not in range. Oh, maybe it is. All right, cool. I've got a sensor lock. All right, it didn't change really, and I just hope that we hit him with the gals. He's now unsteady, and it is now not his turn. No, it is still Cobalt's turn still. Cobalt, you got one more turn. After that, you're gonna die. Kill confirmed, Commander. <clears throat> or you're gonna die because you're running through the flames. Uh, what's that? That's also good. Heading that way. So here we go. Another warlord turn. Get him, boy. Lighting them up. Enough for a knockdown? All right. At least we got that. That's helpful because it also lowers his initiative even further, and we can maybe follow up with one of our hunchbacks still. Yes, Commander. Mm-hmm. Or this good sir here. Understood. That Doing really fast. wants to unload a barrage of machine guns and SRMs. I'm gonna go for Santa now. And. I'm gonna go for Warlord. I know there's a barrage coming down, but I'm hoping that we can kill this dude now. And then the game is over. Heavy damage. Good to go. Ooh, it's kind of on Strider now. Okay, we're gonna move. On my Getting way. into range. This is SRMs. No, this is LRM still. Okay. Uh, and the center toss a shot. It needs to connect. Come on. It's not dead. Oh no! Oh, he's down to 20! But he ejected! We didn't get hit by our own barrage! Mission successful! Mission successful. Alright. That was very much on the edge. We might lose three tanks here. Uh, tanks and, and... Yeah, tanks. Just tanks. Um, I, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of those tanks anyway, so I wanted to replace them in the first place. So, if we get a Nidhogg now, I'd be so happy. Let's check it out. Oh, the loot table. Yeah, there was a lot of loading time included, I believe. That means that we lost some here, but we'll see about it. That was an Iron Raptor, by the way. That thing was a 70-tonner with a lot of light PPCs. Um, by the way, we have one part of the Brutus, we have two parts of the Chaparral that would bring us to three parts each. Three parts each. But... Is it good enough? These tanks are actually quite strong in terms of damage output. And they have a good chunk of armor as well. Let me see. There's the Mad Cat. Good mech. Very good mech. There is one part of a Nidhogg. Only one? Really? The Perseus punched out. I could pick the Perseus. And since it's an Omni mech, it would be a massive upgrade. A massive upgrade to the Hunchbacks. 100%. Ooh, that's difficult. Where, where's the uh, Inferno thing? Oh, Ifrit, Stry Strycraft, it's here. Oh boy. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take the Perseus to kind of 
get a mech that is easily buildable. As <laughs> the Arrow Urban mech? Sure. AMS Mark II, arrows, lots of good quality stuff here. Guys, I'm gonna pick stuff though. I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick uh, vehicles and mechs. I need to check out and, and think about which vehicle I want though. Another predator. <laughs> so good, so good, so good. Uh, sensor probe, cooling, standard fusion stealth. There's another supercharger, which is great. But we don't need it right now. No, okay, so now I'm gonna take the Perseus completely. The question is, do we take more parts for a Brutus to get to three? No. No, I want a Nidhogg. And we have two parts of a Nidhogg already. I hope that we can build it together with this thing and uh, combine it. And then we need one more part and we got it. Also, there's a lot of random salvage. Come on, please give me some tanks that I want. Please. Oh, we get the Mad Cat part. That's cool, man. That's awesome. We have mm, part of a scorpion. I think this is my scorpion, by the way. Yeah, that's our scorpion. He got downed. <laughs> There's an arrow that we got. It's the second arrow that we have now. There is an um, ER medium, a flamer, laser AMS, light AC-10, LRM-20, long fire, SRM-6, Irian. Or Irian. Engine can go. Standard stuff can go. And we got some Artemis. I'd say that was cool. That was actually quite okay. So I took the mech, because mechs are more reliable than tanks, as you could see. Um, but yeah, I want to build up a, a lance of uh, either VTOLs or artillery tanks, so that they, are, that they are safe on the battlefield. We need either evasion or just range and, and cover um, to protect our tanks. And yes, I've been, I've been re very reckless with my tanks, but that's uh, for the reason that I needed to get the damage in. And again, those, those early game tanks, they don't stand a chance in the late game scenario anymore. I could have played super carefully with them, but... Wouldn't have helped me so much. Oh, Hunter is also down. Alright, so the Hunter and the Scorpion were destroyed. That's okay. I wasn't really keen on using them anyway. The more important question is, what can we do with the Perseus? How does it look like? Um, and what can we build with it? That's another 75 torrent. I'm happy to, very happy to replace our one of my Hunchbacks with it. So... Yet again, I believe it is an Omni-Mac, which means we can easily build it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Alright, no. No, it is not an Omni- Wait, it's an Omni-Jar? No, it is. Okay. I was like, wait, why is that broken? No, we have a double heatsink kit. That's pretty dope. We have an advanced fire control system. A slick suite. Is that built-in? No. Oh, that's a, that's a free slick suite. Nice. And as you can see, we have so many hard points, which means we can super specialize the mech. It's a 300 engine core and a 75 ton mech, which is kind of my sweet spot. I think a 300 rated core and a 75 toner is just glorious because you have a decent mobility, but you also have enough room for firepower. Yeah, I like it. Problem is, I think we don't have any Omni arms. No, no. In order to, to get the arm accuracy, we need Omni lower arms now. It's also running a C3i. Um, received one sensor ping and 25% visibility signature. Allies received two sensor strength and plus 4% to sensor sight increase within 240 meters. That's pretty cool. So if we are staying within the bubble of this guy, he's providing us with uh, better sight and sensor and better sensor pings. Super handy. I think I want to keep that thing. It's two and a half tons though. Yeah. It's an AOE upgrade, so therefore everybody that is in that 240 meters range will benefit from it. And it also brings anti-air targeting to the table, which gives us one evasion pips ignore, period. So we will hit better. It is very expensive to build. I mean, we don't have the money to build it. It's not that expensive, actually. Uh, but I think I want it. I want it and I want to bring all the weapons on this guy. Also, it has some quirks. Let me check out the quirks real quick. Ah, screw it, I do it. Let's go. Yes, we are in the negatives, but we will <clears throat> find a way to get around that. Yo, Darius, I know. So, the quirks are resilience, 50% crit resistance, vector plotting, plus one additional evasion ignore, superior stabilization, negative 5% stability taken, and then tuned engine with negative 5% heat generated. That's pretty cool. I like it. So, let's go to the store and sell some stuff, because we have so such a negative Siebel balance that has to be uh, that has to be uh, changed. What's that carrier? A single PPC. Oh, that's cute. 
That's very cute. All right. Ah, what do we sell? Maybe an arrow. Maybe two arrows. But I want the arrow. I like the arrows. Maybe I'm not selling any weapons at all. I also like the hyper laser. That thing can can go like crazy with the hundred damage. Super cool. I think the large lasers can go. Um, we have another clan LRM10. That's good to know. Ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea, uh, but I'll tell you later. Medium pulse laser magna. I think we are beyond pulses, so that's another hundred thousand. The X pulses are pretty good though. I want to keep them. Oh, it could be the mind dispenser. We have so many free hard points and we can drop all the mines with that thing. Guys, we have to do it once at the very least to see if it's any good. That thing is gonna gonna produce a zone of death. It's not an instant damage output, but over time it will be very cool. We have a rock 10 as well, so that's very nice. Um, anyway, barrage tag. In combination with mines? Yeah, let's go. The Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts are also things that I want to try in this playthrough somehow. Uh, there's regular armor that we don't need anymore. Goodbye. Um, 200,000. 200,000 guys. They are beagles. Sell two of the beagles. Great. Oh, we also have a Bloodhound. That's gonna be good. Uh, C3 unit. Is that better? Allies receive one sensor strength and two sensor side increase. I think it's two percent sensor side increase, right? Yeah. The C3I is, is just better than a C3 unit. I will drop those. I'm gonna keep the C3I. That's fine. Alright, and now we have three <laughs> 30, 32,000 C builds. <laughs> okay. So, can we start building anything? No, that thing needs 13 days for, for repairs. That's okay. Man, I'm so happy that we actually kept our old tanks around. So, we're gonna fall back to some old stuff here. And then, we need to find more Nitox. Oh yeah, another thing that I wanted to check. Are the Nitox compatible? Because we got some parts already. Uh, I think it's... Is it heavy? No, I think it was medium. There is one Nitox. Eh, why is this brown? Why is this violet? Do they fit together? Might not be. But also doesn't say which one is compatible to each other, right? No. Anyway, guys, we made some progress today. And I'm pretty happy about that. And I'd say we're gonna We're gonna wait for the fatigue. And we're gonna wait until our main mechs are back in action. And then we have 21 days on the financial report. We're gonna drop once more. But that's gonna happen in the next episode of Rogue Tech. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Goodbye.